Guys, it's Ronnie. It's 5:20 after work. I got uh, the trailer is all done. I've been working on the pieces to reinforce the transom for special design. And I said, yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Uh, weld in supports. Not going just a little cheap crap against the seat. I've seen guys on YouTube. Oh, it's cracking on my transom because it pushes up this way instead of this way. So they just make little junk aluminum crap and bolt it and rivet it to the seat. Ugh, nah. This is all getting welded in. I got to wait till this weekend. Hopefully I can use a buddy's aluminum squirt gun spool gun welder. I don't have one. I can weld aluminum through my wire welder, but I have to buy an argon tank. That's about $400. You used to be able to lease one and just pay for the gas and the rental payment. You got to buy the tank. And just for a little dinky dial, three foot high, you know, the argon's 100 bucks and the tank's 400 now, For what I'm welding, about four feet max of aluminum no so i'm gonna use my buddy's stuff or if he wants to and if i want to drink he can weld it because he's a welder and uh i'm gonna i'll pay him pretty good money for it but yeah i buff all the paint off everything and kind of show you what's going on this chunk goes down here reinforce the bottom at an angle oh, i can show you and I got that bottom bent pretty much straight. That's going to sit there, okay? That's going to reinforce the twist this way so it doesn't try to push the bottom back out, okay? They're designed to take a twist this way where it tweaks this and it pulls. Well, this is opposite. It's going to push. I've seen guys on YouTube right where I got that all polished, right where them seams are in these corners. They've snapped and cracked using a long tail because they're set to take a pull. They're not made to take a push. Well, those are going to go like that. Then this, to take the push on the top, instead of pulling backwards to take the handle of the push, it's going to go front. Uh, I guess you know, like this. You got to get all the paint and everything off, and you got to buff off the oxide layer even on aluminum if you want it right, even if you're using a squirt gun. That's going to sit like that. That's going to sit like that. Then, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a bolt through transom out. So then these will sit about in here. And the other one, well, you know what I mean. That one will sit there, but square. This one will get, well, it'll probably be in closer. I think I'm going to move it in. I might redo my design when I'm walking it up, but. Oh, yeah. Move the boat, then it don't fit. That's where you get a hammer. Oh, yeah. It'll be like this. And like this. With bolt holes going through here, through the transom. Back here. <coughs> with a steel plate. And I'm going to design a plate so if it don't work on the outside, I can move it to the inside and flip it upside down because it angles this way. And if I got too long of a throw on the long tail and I don't hit the weight right, I can flip it over. Oh, yeah, it's cool. You got to think everything. Oh, yeah, and then the corners will be just like that because they tend to crack and break up here. Ah, yeah. You know, like that. Not push off the seat. Push off the main rail. Okay? But that's all going to be walking on like that. Same over there. Him smoking. Hey, <coughs> excuse me, freaking allergies. And, uh, yeah. Look at this. The dude that had this boat just love drilling holes and screwing shit in it. Look at that. I got a power wash. I think I showed you that. Look at that. All these freaking drill holes and crap everywhere. Yeah. Just freaking nuts. Dude, you ever heard of a freaking 
Start using quarter inch sheet metal screws. Ever heard of a freaking uh, uh, couple rib nuts and it's good enough? Look at this. I'm tempted to. I, I got to beat them all down and sand them off, and I know that sounds bad. Because they stick up and they catch your fingers, I got those done. There is a seat that goes right up here in the front that was for reinforcement and a little flotation. Nobody's going to sit there unless you're using it for a step to crawl out the front. But here's where I use that aluminum brazing rod uh, for thick stuff. This is three, this is a uh, 5 sixteenths. No good. Uh, even with map gas, it, it'll melt it. But it, you know, and then I had to hit it with a hammer to line the front. Well, I had it in here because. Uh, let me get rid of my cigarette without starting this place on fire. Because it's got my stuff bailed. We got her bailed yesterday. Cool breeze. Okay, that was two two-inch plates just welding together. Well, I wanted to stick them together so I could make sure and get the angles right. This is going to be, yeah, see, hit with a hammer, it all pop loose. Now, brazen don't work, but I'll show you where it does work. But this is all going to get welded in here so it ties into the bottom and the, the front part that is the bottom. And then the sides right here that take all the weight through this whole side. Okay? There's my big U-bolt hook. Yeah, that'll handle about 2,000 pounds, and this thing should maybe max be at 600. But this will be all welded solid right here. Welded like this every inch to the front piece and down here to the bottom so it's all one chunk. So it's not just pulling off. This. this is all bent to hell. I actually got it really straight. And I said, if I take this boat, even if it's weighing 700 pounds and I want to drop off, I don't have a boat ramp and I got just a straight up and down bank, you know, where I can back up to and drop it down a bank, 8, 10 feet. I need it solid enough in the front. And they just had a hand handle that it came with on the front. This is all bent and tweaked and stretched. And yeah, I got it pretty close. This is all bowed out. Just from using their hand or apparently used an aluminum handle as a hook on the boat for a while. And that broke and it bent everything. Well, this ain't going to pull the nose off. I get all this welded in. And then, just to be super safe... You tie it all together to the sides here. Oh, help if I turn it the right way. You notice how I got it all buffed off. Aluminum doesn't rust, but it has oxide. And with a wire welder, you can weld through it, but it's not as nice. You can sand all that off. Sand it all off. It's good for a few weeks. Hopefully I can get this in this weekend. This is going to be tied in to the main rib that goes all the way back down the side on both sides. Plus it's going to straighten and hold this little thin 0 .100 inch thick aluminum that just bent into a half tube. I said that's uh, 3 sixteenths I think. And it's going to be welded on like this so it's going to have a direct Force if it tries to bow this out, it's not gonna be able to bow the nose hanging from that hitch, it's not gonna be able to tear everything off. So I can hang this thing straight up and down from a freaking tree with my long tail on it and not worry about it. If this thing fails, the rear end of the boat's reinforced, it ain't gonna hurt the boat much if it had fall six feet straight down. But with a $1,500 long tail set up, my own design that's taken me two years to figure out, that's going to hit too. And that's a big no-no. That would not be good. So there's no way this thing is going to come loose. And this strap, and if I have to extend it, is, uh, what did I say, 1,500 pounds. Max all having this thing, lowering it down anywhere, is probably 600 pounds, the whole thing. But yeah, there you go. And then once I get all this welded in there, uh, I might have to move the seat back a little bit here because it's nice for step if you got to get out the front. Otherwise, I really don't need it. I might move it down a little lower. 
because that was there basically for reinforcement for the nose. Like those are, you notice there's no spars like this where the seed is. And where the seed is, they leave a gap because that's a big giant spar. Get it? Engineering 101.634 or something. There you go. Wow, it's hot. Now the wind almost quit blowing. Look at that tree. At least I had a breeze blowing through the truck when it was 142 degrees in it today. It was only 99 in the shade for a while. And uh, on the concrete lots in between the metal trailer. Eh, about 120 plus 212 degrees of engine heat blowing up through the cab in the front. Yeah, I think the average temp was probably around 150, but I had a breeze going through to help clear it out. But yeah, that's what I got. Okay, that puppy ain't coming loose. If this would give, well, I got it hanging like this, ah, it probably wouldn't hurt the boat dropping six feet much because of reinforcements, but it will take out my long tail. I'm going to have $1,500 in that plus 200 hours of design time in that long tail. But that's still cheaper than what I can buy a kit. And this is going to be amazing. But yeah, there's my trailer. See, I got my roller here. So when I tilt it up, if I got to drop off a bank, my strap don't hit. It'll come up as this goes back. Rolls against this so it just can't go slam backwards. I can stand that puppy up. That's deep. Lower it right down onto a little sandbar right in the river. I'm sure I'll get to one later. But yeah come out pretty good but yeah you got to buff off sand off all the paint all the crap I power washed it I said it's it's gonna be cool I said these go these will just be here because they break right down here well and they're and the guy's just pushing and going like this he put a piece just a little like three-quarter inch thin tube like a freaking towel rod across and then here and off the seat and what in the hell are you doing eh. uh, yeah and he he was breaking it and splitting it and he had it welded twice well run a piece of freaking get a piece of aluminum tube that's uber thick cut it in half and reinforce it you're paying well i think he was trying to rivet the crap now so yeah that's idiots when you gotta do it right you gotta use a welder but yeah, look at all the freaking holes that they drilled in the, everywhere, everywhere, up here, there, here, oh, eh, eh, this dude just, just went nuts with this brand new freaking DeWalt freaking battery operated screwdriver impact gun and quarter inch self tapping screws, man. What a freaking moron. But there you go. Hopefully this weekend I can get it to my buddy Allen's and gear well together. I said and then get the seat put back in where I want it. And then do another water leak test. Make sure nothing's leaking. And I found a couple loose rivets above the water line in here where I, it was all just smashed. But I'll rebuck them because when I redo the seat, I'll have, I'm going to buck them in with rivets again, just like the original. And I got a couple I found I'll replace that are way up here above the water line. I said, when this thing's on plane, even in regular water with a load, it maybe will sit that deep. When I'm on plane, that puppy should be about right here. And with my HDPE, water should touch right here. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's a theory. Never been done before. I'm going to find out. I know how flat bottom boats work. They're a lot different than the V bottom. They ride rough as hell out on a freaking wavy water, but eh, if you get everything set right with a long tail, you can actually fly across the top of them waves and you don't drop in between them and you don't gotta split them. It's pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, what do you think of my try? I got my Harbor Fright winch, my Harbor Fright jack. I, I don't need it to lift it. I just got that jack so I can roll it around easy. And, uh, it's four inches too short. I hate it when that happens. I don't have that problem. You know, Chinese, Asian, Asian companies made in China, made in Asia. Yeah, they got a problem with four inches too short. That's why they like American made over there. But yeah, there you go. That's the puppy. 
I think I might get two more of them orange reflectors and put one about right there on the curve on each side, but it's totally legal. Yeah, it's awesome. Ooh, yeah, baby. Slow but sure, I'm coming along. People are like, what are you doing? You're nuts when you see what I can do with this. It, it, the whole theory, is this is proof of concept. And the trailer is working, the boat's working. Uh, my long tail is proof of concept, the way I'm building it. But it's going to work. It's just to get all the bits and pieces to work together. The trailer's going to work fine with a boat. To get the long tail to work correct with the boat, get the balance. I said, if everything works right, I should be able to rip along at 25 mile an hour. Uh, you know, or you know, on plane, I'm thinking maybe 10 or 11 mile an hour in three inches of water. For you snowflakes, three inches of water. You know, about that much. For you snowflakes, about that much water up to here. Okay? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> It's hydrodynamics and physics and stuff. It's cool. It'll work. I know I'll be able to run no problem in six inches of water. I want to be able to run in snowflake two inches. About that much, which is actually in humans. Well, you can't see. Well, yeah, in that deep of water, if you lay a can on its side, this much water... I'll be able to run no problem no matter what. It, you know, even from a dead start, I'll just half plane the prop, which I'll that probably show you what that means when I get it all going. I don't know, I believe that's six inches, seven. Yeah. That much water laying that way. On its side, I should be able to cruise along. Yeah, no problem. And not drag the bottom. All right, man. Boy, it's beautiful out here, but it is just freaking hot and miserable and humid. It actually clouded over a little bit, kind of, and thought maybe we had a chance of some rain. But I said, oh, we got the baling done. I think I got more bales off the 40, well, the 80 here. I think we got more bales off this first cut because I said I got 12 inches of rain out here, but it was so dry from last year. You split that down, it might be six. I think we got as many bales on the first cut, and I'll have to check. As we did all year last year out of four. I said I only got an inch and a half of rain all last year. And normal through the year is like 22. So even with 14 inches of rain here this spring, we're still behind on water. But yeah, it's looking better. Those two bales came from right up here on two acres. So if we're getting a bale an acre, that's real good. Because I don't think we got a bale an acre all year last year. But, you know, Mother Nature, that's the way it works. All right, there you go. But, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> Slow but sure, I'm getting there. I just need, as I said, I'm not going to spend $400 for freaking wire. Well, for the, for the argon tank and stuff. I'll pay my buddy and wait. If we can't get it done this weekend, though, because... I can't do anything else till I get this all welded. I can't line the plastic. I could start working on the long tail part, but that's out of sync for me. If worse comes to worse and I get backlogged more than 10 days, I'm going to buy my own argon tank full of stuff for 500 bucks and a roll of aluminum, and I'll weld it right here at home and do it myself. Yeah, baby, but hopefully I can get by on 100 bucks or so because I said there's only going to be max... If you add up all the inches, well, maybe four feet, $25 a freaking foot, that's a pretty good price that I'm willing to pay if I can get her done when I need it done. But I'm not going to pay anybody $100 an hour, first 100 just to turn her welder on. That's bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, here. Wow, it's hot. Peace, love, have a heart, because I'm holding my phone, have a heart. Be you. Don't let nobody tell you that, man. I said, but don't hurt anybody. Don't use people. Don't do shit because that will come back to bite you in the butt. But if you're being totally honest, totally straight up, and just say, I, I just want to be me, mm, go for it. I said, Bunny, 
minus one to the naysayers and the haters and the ones that oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. Anyone that tells you a different human, you're all made different. Any human that tells you you are not correct because you want to do something that's what you're comfortable with, that's it. Bunny hairs minus one. <clears throat> Just don't hurt anybody. And if they can't deal with that, you need to get away from them people because you're hanging around the wrong people. People thought I was nuts doing this, but I just showed them some photos at work. They ain't seen the whole thing yet. And they're like, you know, the engineers and stuff. And like, holy shit. No wonder you were spending so much time thinking and working on it. Can't wait to see your long tail because they couldn't believe what the hell I did with a 10-foot freaking twisted bent-up boat trailer. And what I've done, they ain't paid attention. I ain't shown them any pictures of this boat. You know, uh, I get it all done. It'll be around both plants, and they can go, ooh, and they know already. Ronnie can talk the talk. Let's see if he can walk the walk. Well, I definitely will walk the walk. It'll be all be safe out in the heat. You know, drink a lot of water. Wait till you're off work. Drink a beer, too. Get an AC where I'm going right now. Ooh, it's toasty. But, yeah, there's my update. For what I got going on, there's the old tires off them 14-inch rims. It's, I ain't got time, and it's so hot, and no, I ain't going out. Uh, I'll get them down to uh, my buddy's place to his tire pile for a silage later. <sighs> it's just freaking toasty. Oh, yeah, out here right now, I would say it's 96 or 97 in the shade. Right here, there is a blue breeze blowing through, but, yeah, it's probably 106, 107, and if you get... Over here, I could grab my little heat gun thermometer. I'll guarantee it's 135 degrees or 150. Just racetrack temperature, as they call it in NASCAR. And that's how much heat's coming up off the track. Is what's how much heat. Yeah, and then add 210 degrees right in front of you, blowing back at you through your dash. Because it's not insulated. Woohoo! Just like the race car. It's hot in there. But they got cooling suits and all that neat shit and automatic drinking. I don't have nothing. <laughs> it's called find a shade tree and try to park under it for five minutes. It's got to breathe. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm dropping my empty. I don't litter. I put that and recycle it. All right, man, there you go. Y'all have a good one. Uh, I said slow but sure. Whew. It's toasty. I got my cleaning and stuff done this weekend, too. I was up at 5 in the morning working on stuff till about 2 or 3 or 4 in the afternoon till it was over 105 in the garage. And then I came in and I'd shower and just chill and finish up housework and stuff. So, yeah, I know it looks cluttered, but it's clean. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. It's all good. I love you all, man. Have a good one. Mwah! Take care. I said be careful out in this heat. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's starting to turn into winter. Winter will kill you a hell of a lot faster than heat will. If you, <laughs> you know what I mean. Goes, like I said, normal temperature here is 77 degrees right now on this date. Yearly. And it's 97. It's going to stay above in the 90s, mid-90s, which has been for five days. That's 10 for you snowflakes. And then uh, for the next at least nine more days it's supposed to stay above in the 90s when the average is 78 this is the first of june okay this ain't the end of july going into august yeah. and remember this winter we had the coldest winter recorded in 125 years here of 130 this is even for snowflakes 130 Four degrees. Two days in a row, okay? Coldest ever recorded in 125 years here. Global warming my ass. It's Mother Nature. Oh, yeah, but look how hot it is now. It, yeah, yeah, well, why was it 34, 35 below zero with, without the wind chill? Eh? It's just Mother Nature being Mother Nature. There you go. Mwah! I love you all. Have a good one. I just love talking to you guys when I get a chance. You know, hope you get a kick out of me and enjoy what I'm doing. And if you see me in doing it and try to explain it, you have any questions? 
I think I got the comments on. Get a hold of me. Message me. Most people that watch are my friends anyway. But yeah, they just like to see what I do and watch me be the freak. <laughs> I love it too. But I have good pointers on all kinds of neat stuff. You know. And lately the haters have been leaving me alone, which is pretty cool. Because I don't, I, I don't mind the trolls that try to start stuff, but I had a few just haters just being nasty. I'm like, eh, go away. You'll get your own karma, and then they finally figured it out. But, yeah, I haven't even been bothered by trolls for a while now, so watch. <laughs> I'll come out of the woodwork. <laughs> it's all good. Like I said, I love talking to you. Feel few subscribers I got. YouTube ripped me off. I was up to 52. And they shut it down to 50, and I still ain't got around. But I had names. I think I can go back through and find the names of the three that took me from 48 to 51. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's all good. You know, screw the commie people. But they let me get my videos out, you know, if they find them interesting or funny or informative. I'm here to show. And I don't pull no... That's one thing. I mean, I don't... I don't pull no bullshit. I show reality. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, oh, this works. No, that brazen stuff. It. Oh, I forgot to show you how it worked really good on a tube where I had to build it up. I'll show that next video. I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, I use that brazen stuff. Works great for certain places, but it's not. Nah, you got to make something that's heavy and, uh, you know, patching little holes in that aluminum bottom. It would work great. I'll show you that in the next video when I get done welding. Yeah, okay. I'll have more. But yeah, I don't lie about nothing. No, it's not no stick em, frickin' doing, being a welder, aluminum deal whatsoever. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> but I can't say it's a fail because for lighter, thin stuff, and just, oh yeah, it works pretty slick. I'm saying it's probably better than JB Weld on aluminum because nothing wants to stick to aluminum. Yeah, anybody that knows, because uh, it oxides underneath even if you got, like, JB, well, it'll oxide, and then it starts breaking it loose. So. Yeah, there you go. A little tip of information. Have a good one. I got to get my dirty, stinky clothes off, jump in the shower, and be sad because Colorado's tied up. My Colorado Avalanche won the first two games of the second round playoffs against Las Vegas. And now they lost two in a row. <laughs> oh, they're just tied two to two. They got it. They got to Whoever wins four, snowflakes four. Whoever wins four first moves on. But yeah, Colorado just played like crap the last two games. I don't know what's going on. Could be jet lag. Could be Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Astrology. There's no planet goes retrograde. It's a freaking illusion from planet Earth. Look it up. Fuck, I love it. Yeah, we're Mercury retrograde. Is that a bullshit? <laughs> Bunny ears. Yeah, one ear got caught in the freaking wire fence and tore it off. Bunny ears. To Mercury retrograde and crap. It's an illusion. Look it up. <laughs> I love you. I had to put that in there. Y'all take care. I will be back. Uh, just put out good vibes and care for your neighbor and if they're evil, just get away from them. And if they won't leave you alone, I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Move away. <laughs> Something. <laughs> okay. Cool breeze. It's all good. I love you. I'll be back. I promise. Ciao.